Today in Review This Thing, we are going to compare these factory loads to this custom load out of our Vergara Crest. This is Adrian with Review This Thing, and today we are out here at the range. We're very excited. You've already seen us do the quick look on the Vergara Crest, the siding in. You saw us test out our best load in 6.5 PRC. And today we are going to compare a couple of the loads that did the best against this Pendleton ammunition, which is hand loaded custom ammunition. So it's still the same bullets. It's just the different load. Of course, we're going to do our test with the Bergara Crest in 6.5 PRC. On it, we have mounted a Vortex Razor HD LHT 3 to 15 by 42 scope. And I'm using the Dead Air Nomad suppressor. We're pretty excited. So let's shoot them and see how they do. We are going to start with the Hornady Precision Hunters. This is a 143 grain ELDX. We've had a lot of success hunting with this bullet and it shot really well out of this gun the other day. So let's start with it, see what kind of speeds we get and what kind of groups we get. We're going to go top right. Okie dokie, first shot. Shot number two. That's pretty close. Let's get a third one. I would say that's a pretty solid group out of the Hornady Precision Hunters. We got an average speed of 2782, fastest was 2797. Okay, now we are gonna move on to the Pendleton 143 grain ELDX bullet. I do wanna point out, this is a 20 inch barrel, so that you do most of the testing with 24 inch barrels. What I've heard is you can expect about 25 feet per second per inch change in the barrel length. So if you look at the speeds on the box, then in theory, it's gonna be about 100 feet per second, at least slower than what the box says. Let's see what we get out of this one. Top left. That hit pretty much the exact same spot as the factory load. So hopefully we can get at least the same size group we got out of that other one. I feel like that's gonna be on me. Okie dokie, shot number three. So those two hit the same spot. And of course that first shot could have been me pulling a little bit, but not too bad. All right, I'm gonna shoot one more so I can see if I can get it closer to those other two. Make sure I didn't screw up the first one. It worked. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet load. So those are all three basically touching. I like that result. Okay, now we're gonna try the Norma Bond Strike. This is also a 143 grain bullet. The box says 2953 feet per second. The max we can probably expect would be 2853, but if we can get close to 2800, I think we'll be hitting where we need to be. Let's go. Bottom right. All right, the good thing is everything seems to be hitting in about the same spot. So clearly that means when we decide which load we're gonna use, we need to get it sided in and then it looks like they'll all shoot about the same. So that's pretty cool. Speed on that one was 2809. We're getting it. Shot number two. Pretty close. In case you hadn't figured it out, this gun is pretty dang sweet. The Crest in 6.5 PRC, obviously I haven't shot anything besides that, but this is incredibly accurate gun and very accurate with every load we've shot through it. I'm pretty sure I can say that with confidence. 28.37 on that one. Shot number three. Let's get them close. Again, not too bad. Pretty decent group. We got a 28.17 average. The highest was 28.37, lowest was 28.05. So pretty good, getting fairly close. What we would expect anyway with that shorter barrel. Let's see how the Pendletons do. Okay, our last load is the Pendleton with the 143 grain Norma Bond Strike. Same load we just shot. We were getting over 2,800 with that one. So if we can get 28, 25 and such out of this, that'll be pretty fun. Main thing is what kind of groups can we get? That's what we're looking at. Bottom left. That was 2771. 
Shot number two. We'll throw two more down there. 28.36, but. Hmm. So the average on that one was 2,800, max of 2,836, lowest of 2,771. I did a little bit of adjustment, tried to get a little bit more comfortable, and we're gonna shoot that same load again and see if it was my fault or if this gun maybe just doesn't like that one as well. Let's see how she does. We're going right in the middle. Okie dokie. We got to get two more right there. One more. That was a little better than the last group, but still not as good as the Precision Hunters, especially the Pendleton Precision Hunters. So it looks like that may be our choice. A couple weeks later, we took this exact setup back to the range to test the Vortex Fury Binocular Ballistics. We shot it quite a bunch and we were still super impressed. So stay tuned and hopefully you'll get to see the results when we actually take it hunting. Hey, thanks for watching our factory load versus Pendleton custom ammunition test video. While you're here, like it, share with your friends, comment, let us know what you think. Also, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Check out our website, readthisthingtv.com, and our Amazon storefront, as well as our Pinterest page. As always, thanks for watching.